uh, and uh, a very, very uncertain future, uh, considering the fact that uh, most of the communal uh, farmers would not produce any yields uh, this year. Uh, and also, we have seen inflation uh, over the last uh, seven months uh, booming. Uh, go, I mean, being the largest in the world, uh, something which is not good news for the people uh, of Zimbabwe. Greetings and welcome on your lovely channel, the Shonipani, uh, Nube Music TV. If you are watching us for the first time, please do remember to press the red or black subscribe button uh, so that next time when we be live, guess what? You become the very, very first one to watch us. So, will the appointment of uh, John Mashayabanu uh, the new Reserve Bank uh, governor following the exit of uh, John Mangushka. I hope I got that one very correct. Uh, will it change the economic fortunes of Zimbabwe? I think that is the question which is asked by a lot of people. Uh, was the appointment of Masha necessitated by uh, the poor performance of Mangushka or uh, it was, uh, I mean, the end of term uh, of the previous uh, governor of the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe and Emerson Dambutsom Nangako was supposed to appoint the new uh, Reserve Bank governor. Now let's look at the economy. Uh, remember, economic transformation, it is not a responsibility of a one man. Uh, it is not uh, the responsibility of the Reserve Bank. Uh, it, 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 it is a broader, uh, multi-sectoral uh, responsibility. Uh, and there has to be an economic will uh, in order for the economy of Zimbabwe to take shape. For example, let's look at the appointment uh, of John Mas his appointment is unconstitutional in the first place, and this is the man who is supposed to introduce policy frameworks uh, that will attract investors, uh, I mean foreign direct uh, investors. But investors look at uh, these critical issues uh, like adherence to the constitution by the president, especially when uh, appointing a, 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 an individual to exercise the responsibility uh, that uh, is uh, on the desk of John Mashayaban. Now, uh, he is a product of a uh, constitutional uh, violation, and we expect this man to turn the economic fortunes of Zimbabwe. Uh, definitely, they, we, we, they, 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 there isn't much that he is going to do. Let's look at what exactly uh, is causing economic decay in Zimbabwe. Now, firstly, it is a broader government policies. Now, in Zimbabwe, firstly, we have got a government, a government that was not elected by people. We have got, there, there are no electoral reforms. And the judiciary at the moment, the state of the judiciary, I mean, it is a substandard judiciary that we are subjected to. And there is high probability that if investors decide to invest in Zimbabwe and take their matters for judiciary overview, they may not receive justice. And there is absolutely no investor who is willing to pour his investment in a country where the judiciary is highly compromised, where the judiciary is partisan. Investors would love to put their investment in a country where there is an independent judiciary system uh, that will be able whenever needed to step in uh, to ensure that uh, justice is saved, particularly to investors. Uh, investors get to uh, uh, receive uh, justice. But this is not what uh, is actually happening in Zimbabwe. We have a judiciary uh, that is loyal to the president. Uh, everything that is happening in Zimbabwe revolves around one man, one man who is making one mistake after another. Uh, that is why you see there is no confidence 
uh, not from the just the investors, even the local people, uh, Zimbabweans themselves, they do not trust investing uh, in Zimbabwe because of the political uh, climate that is currently prevailing uh, in Zimbabwe. As long as there is no democracy, as long as there is no leader that is chosen by the people and that leader gets to serve the interest of the people, having taken the mandate from the people, we will still uh, continue to experience uh, policies of an arrogant government that undermine uh, the people's will, that disregard uh, the interest of the people. Uh, so it is the, the, the Reserve Bank is just an institution which is expected, obviously, to print money. Uh, but remember, uh, Reserve Bank is under the Ministry of Finance, and the Minister of Finance is a political uh, figure representing the interest of a certain uh, political party. Now, if you look at Mtuli Ngube before he joined ZANU-PF, he was speaking the right language, what needs to be done in Zimbabwe in order for the economy uh, to take off. He even indicated that we didn't need, uh, as early as possible, uh, the introduction of a Zim dollar. Uh, because what we needed uh, is to first of all stabilize the economy uh, with the multi-currency regime or adopt a single uh, currency. I remember reading uh, one of his longest papers uh, on Bulawayo 24 uh, as indicating how uh, he intended to address the economy of Zimbabwe. And whatever he proposed needed uh, to be complemented by the political will from ZANU-PF. Uh, it needed ZANU-PF firstly uh, to ensure that uh, it create a democratic environment, it create a democratic atmosphere, it respects human rights, uh, so that countries, you see, if, if the government cannot respect the rights of its people, what about a foreign investor who is not a Zimbabwe? Uh, do you think that foreign investor is going to enjoy uh, the rights? There is absolutely no way. And there is no one who can pour his investment in such a government that disregard, that disrespects uh, his people. So the appointment of John uh, Mashayaban, I say it, it is also appointment it would it won't change anything uh, economically in Zimbabwe unfortunately that is the reality uh, it, this is what I said also uh, when Emerson Tambusom Nangakwa came through the back door uh, to be the president of Zimbabwe I said it as soon as I mean I did it as soon as that thing I heard that it was happening uh, I posted that this guy by virtue of coming through the back door you don't expect uh, someone who violated the constitution uh, to be the president uh, to usher in uh, the period of constitutionalism i think that was a mistake which we tolerated uh, which we're not supposed to tolerate and we have got an individual uh, who is after self-enrichment other than uh, uh, the broader interest of the people of Zimbabwe and he, he doesn't feel compels uh, to actually act in the best interest of Zimbabwe. That is Emerson Tambutum Nangapa for you. Uh, thank you very much for watching us. If you are watching us for the first time, please do remember to press the right